Man, oh man, does it feel good to be a winner. It doesn't matter if it's preseason or whatever. It is always time to celebrate when the New York football Giants win a game, and they did today against the Carolina Panthers. 21-19 in preseason game number two. We're going to get into my instant reaction. Some takeaways is there were some really good things I saw in this ball game today. I was proud of the way that the starters looked in that first drive. They came out, they handled business, and they were able to really just dominate the Carolina Panthers. I'm proud of that. We'll get into Daniel Jones, Darren Waller, and everything. Big Blue in a second. But first, I need all of you to subscribe to New York Giants now by Chat Sports because our bosses said we can't get 20 new subs on today's video. And uh, that's unfortunate. They're doubting the real ones of Giants now by Chat Sports. So prove them wrong. If you love the Giants and you want free content every single day, hit that sub button and help us get to 31,000 subs. We're like 60 away. Let's start with the first drive of the game when Daniel Jones marched the offense down the field and ended up throwing a touchdown to Daniel Bellinger. I thought Daniel Jones looked really, look, really good. He was cool. He was calm. He was very collected in the pocket. Didn't look like he was rushed or rattled at all. I thought the offensive line gave him a lot of time to throw. 69 yards and a touchdown. He had a tuck and run where he scrambled for about seven or eight yards. The arm strength, though, for Jones popped off the screen for me. I feel like he was able to fit some balls in a couple of windows that maybe he wasn't able to do in the past. The arm looked stronger, in my opinion, and he had a great chemistry off the rip with the new addition, Darren Waller. You saw Jones target Darren Waller, I think, three times to start today's game. It was a pass to the left side on the little hook route. He caught it. He got north and south. Then he threw him a little uh, slant pass and another pass. He did drop one pass. It was a really good hit by the defense. Ball came out when he hit the ground. I think in a regular season game, that might have been ruled a catch and a fumble. Uh, could have been challenged as well. But Darren Waller, you saw why there's been so much hype, and I have really been telling you guys why he's looked so good in training camp. It was on display tonight against the Panthers. Only played the first drive. Daniel Jones, Andrew Thomas, Darren Waller were the only people that did not play the first drive, and the only Giant that did not play it all today at all was Saquon Barkley. But Darren Waller, he showed you why the Giants made a big move for him. Let's talk about a rookie, though, and the rookie, the standout rookie of today's game. That is Jalen Hyatt. Man, did he look good. It only took one play for Hyatt to change this game, and it came in the second quarter from Tyron Taylor on a deep corner route. A 33-yard touchdown to the third-round draft pick. Man, oh, man. That was impressive. Uh, the speed, it popped off the screen. You saw him eat up the cushion of the safety. Then a little post-corner route got to the corner, and no one could stop him. Um, he did have a drop earlier in the game, and it was actually the play before that. And I like the fact that the rookie had a drop and was able to shake it off. Next play mentality and was able to get north, get deep, catch a touchdown, and put the Giants on top. Isaiah Hodgins also had a pretty solid game as well. Broke a couple of tackles on those two plays. Saw some yak from big number one eight. I was proud of the way Hodgins played. I was really impressed by the way this first offense played. I thought Evan Neal looked really good in this game. Had one bad rep where he allowed a sack prior uh, to the first half coming to a close. But I thought he looked good in some pass protection. I thought he looked good in some running plays on the Eric Gray touchdown, which we'll get to in a second. He pushed his man like seven yards downfield. So really impressed by the way he played. And overall, this offense played. Who impressed you the most? That's the question I want to know right now. Who impressed you the most during the week two preseason game versus the Carolina Panthers? Get your answers down in the comment section right now. We do have a little bit of injury news to report. I think this is more so just precautionary reporting from some of the Giants insiders on Twitter. Charlotte Carroll tweeted out that Jalen Hyatt was getting some attention from trainers before the half ended, and he, she couldn't tell what they were looking at, but it came after he landed hard uh, on an incomplete pass. And then Dan Duggan of The Athletic uh, got cut off, but don't mind us. Says, don't, says he doesn't see Hyatt on the sideline after halftime. He also said Deontay Banks has a big wrap on his left forearm. So two rookies dealing with a little bit of injuries. Hyatt did return to the field, and he didn't have anything taped up or iced up, so I think he's okay. 
Giants just being extra cautious with two rookies that could definitely change this team. Overall, though, there were some really good plays for the Giants, but also some plays that were quite disgusting, in my opinion. Uh, Jamie Gillen, his punting has become a problem for this football team. He shanked one. He put one into the end zone when punting from the 45. Did not look good. Tyrod Taylor was solid. 9 of 13 from the field. Uh, from the uh, 9 of 13, throwing the rock. 90 yards. Had that touchdown to Jalen Hyatt. Uh, I thought John Michael Schmitz was all right, but there's there was a couple plays where the Giants were third and short or fourth and one, and you had John Michael Schmitz, Ben Bredesen, and Joshua Izudu on the field, and they weren't able to get any push. They weren't able to create a running lane for the running back, and the Giants got stuff in the backfield twice today and once last week. So that's three times at that core, at the interior, against backups, were not able to create a push or a surge. That's a little bit frightening for me. But maybe the star of the game was Tommy DeVito. It might be a little bit of an over-exaggeration, but I like what I've seen from the young QB, the New Jersey kid. He's got a quick release. He's a gamer. Uh, producer Patrick Seaman, I thought it made a good point. Kind of reminds him of Taylor Heineke. Just a gamer, a battler, a dude that's gutsy and going to give it his all and put it all out there. We saw him under pressure because Corey Cunningham did not look good. Matt Parrott was awful. Um, Wyatt Davis wasn't much better. I mean, outside of the starting O-line, I am worried about this football team. Matt Parrott was bad. Azudu hasn't looked good in two games. Um, Corey Cunningham didn't look good. Shane Lemieux looked awful. Uh, the depth on this offensive line is concerning for me right now. I know it's the preseason. I don't want to overreact too much, but I have to do my job. And right now, I will say I am not all too encouraged by the way that this offensive line is playing. The other concern I have right now is the slot cornerback position. Darnay Holmes got cooked on an out route. Cordell Flott seems like he has moved to outside corners. He has not looked all too good. Uh, Deontay Banks had a couple of good pass breakups. I thought Trey Hawkins was solid. Um, overall, though, the defense as a whole was solid. I mean, you look at what the Panthers were able to do or the lack of what they were able to do, only 134 passing yards. That is good. But they did allow 101 yards on the ground, but only 3.6 yards uh, per carry. Uh, they won the time of possession battle, no turnovers. After the starters came out, it was a classic preseason game. You look at what the Giants did on offense, 290 yards, 230 through the air. They were not able to run the football whatsoever. I thought Matt Breida had a couple of really, uh, not, not, excuse me, not Matt Breida, Jay Sean Corbin had a couple of really good plays. Eric Gray had that nice touchdown run. But um, I don't think James Robinson's going to make this team. I really don't think he's got much juice left in the tank. Overall, I was not impressed by him. Some other guys I were impressed by, Bobby Okereke. I thought he looked really good. Jordan Riley, I thought looked really good once again. Um, those two guys stuck out to me. Uh, Dane Belt made a couple of good plays. Micah McFadden had a couple of good plays. When Darian Beavers was in the game, which was the first action we've seen in 12 months, I thought he looked really good. I'm trying to think if I remember anything else from this game. Those were the main takeaways I had. Always fun to win a football game. Uh, Bryce Ford Wheaton had a bad game in week one. Two catches in week two. A strong catch. Gave him a little C.D. Lamb first down action. I thought he looked solid. Uh, Tyrod was okay. But uh, that's really all I got. I was uh, impressed by Jay Sean Corbin once again in his pass blocking, whereas Eric Gray, I thought, left a little bit to be desired. Um, I think right now Jay Sean Corbin's a better running back than Eric Gray. Thing is, one was selected in the fifth round and one was the UDFA. You want to play favorites, play favorites, but the better football player, not only as a runner, as a catcher, more electric, and also a pass blocker, Deshaun Corbin is better than Eric Gray. Um, I want to keep Eric Gray on this team, but I believe best man plays, and right now, Corbin should be the third back on this team. No problem having four running backs on a roster. I don't know how you can not put Corbin on this team after what he's done the past couple of weeks. I appreciate everybody for tuning in to New York Giants now by Chat Sports. Remember, subscribe. 
to the channel. We put out content every day. And tomorrow morning, we'll have winners and losers from tonight's preseason game. So lock us in, turn your notifications on. Let's go Big Blue.